I love the letter from the board chair or the board of media general that for the first time we've seen a firmly written response, one that calls out the National Media Commission, specifically the very personal assumed attack from the executive secretary, a man who himself is a lawyer, whom I expect to know better. But you know, Bella, I am certainly not surprised. Why? I have reported on many occasions pronouncements from to me TV in particular mm. regarding attacks on former President Mahama, attacks on his wife, his family, mm. name it. Even at some point, we've led formal complaints to this body. Not even out of courtesy has the National Media Commission even written. How many letters did you write oh, to the I'm NMC? Oh, I'm sure I have at least two on record. And you never got a response I don't recall, any. not even an invitation, not even out of respect or courtesy for the fact that this individual was once a former leader of our country and that if he has a complaint, at least some effort, a certain med modicum of respect even should be given to him. I don't recall. We live in this country, Bella. In the t year 2015, check on the index of media freedoms. Mm. Ghana ranked 22nd ahead of the UK of all countries, of all places. I celebrate and acknowledge John Mahama for his tolerance. Till date, every time the lawyer in me has said, Mr. Mahama, we need to go to court, he'll be the first to say, you know, JB, I know how these things go. Sometimes, you know, it's easy to go to court, but the next thing you hear is that, you know, you're a former leader, you're being too reactive, this will stifle media freedoms. And, you know, it's not all of them. Mm. Some of them for sure, but the others not so much. And because I'm actually one of the practitioners, I need to be very careful how I approach these things. Yeah. If I tell you the number of times that party aficionados, great individuals, experts, have approached us to ask, why are you not taking these matters to court? Why are you not suing them? Why are you not demanding that this media house be closed down, etc.? Mm. This is the response Mr. Mahama gives to me. And sometimes you can't even share it in public to tell them that the real reason is that the boss believes that this will go a long way to stifle what little media freedoms we have. This is what we're talking about. 